Hi, Evan Carroll here. Today I want to show you how you can add Google Analytics tracking parameters to your Bitly URLs that you can create inside of TweetDeck. Now that can be really handy if you send out a lot of URLs via Twitter using TweetDeck and you'd like to be able to track in Google Analytics where if that traffic is coming from your, your Twitter efforts. Um, oftentimes these URL shorteners will tend to strip the referring information off of the URL or it'll come through a client that doesn't provide any referring information and you run into a situation where you have a lot of traffic that looks like it's direct traffic to your site when it's really coming from some of your marketing efforts. So the goal here is to enable you to add these tracking parameters to your URLs without having to do any additional work at the time you create the URL. So as you know, TweetDeck has the ability to create bit.ly URLs and that's included in its settings. But we would like to do something a little different with it, so we're going to use um, some functionality that TweetDeck added recently called Custom URL Shorteners. It basically lets you create an endpoint that you pass your long URL to and then hand you back a short URL. And that's documented here in their support form. And you'll notice we have several options here for doing that. So the first thing we want to do is actually go out to the Bitly API documentation and get the um, endpoint that we're going to need to work with. So here's the Bitly API documentation. I'm actually going to look for the Shorten API. And looking at the examples, I want to use the one that will return a text um, string of the short URL. So I'm just going to grab this example right here. And I'm going to take that over to my um, text editor and paste that in. Now there are a few things we need to change here first. Um, you notice it has a place for login, and that's where you want to put your login name. And also, there's a place for your API key. So I'm actually going to go back to the web here. And I've got my Bitly site open. I'm logged in. And I can go to my account settings by clicking my username and grab my API key. So I'm going to copy that. And go back to my text file. And replace the example API key with my own personal API key. Now the next thing we're asking for in the endpoint is the long URL. You notice there's an example URL in here. And I'm going to go ahead and remove that. Put a space in there so we know to put our in there. Um, if we hop back to the documentation that TweetDeck has provided, you will notice that they instruct you to put a percent sign and then an at sign where your URL will go. So we will go back to our text file and we will add our percent sign and our at sign. Okay. So now we have almost everything we need to create our URL. We have our username, we have our API key, we have TweetDeck uh, placing our long URL here, and we have our format specified as text. But the next thing we need to have is our tracking parameters. So Google Analytics provides a great tool that allows you to specify your tracking parameters. They call it the URL builder. So that's located here, and I'd like to give a hat tip to our metrics and analytics director, Jim Hazen, for showing me this. So let's put in a fake URL here, or capstrap.com. Uh, you can really put in here because we're not going to be using this in, in the end result. So first you need to pick your campaign source. Um, since I'm creating these URLs in TweetDeck, I'm going to go ahead and specify TweetDeck as my source. If you only share links to Twitter or only share links to Facebook, you might consider putting Twitter or Facebook here. Um, Medium asks for your journal marketing medium, um, things like banners, emails, um, and such. I'm actually going to put social to encompass all social web um, um, activities. And then finally, there's a place for a campaign name. And here I'm actually going to go and repeat TweetDeck as well. If you have a specific campaign running, this might be a good place to put that. Uh, but since this is going to be encoded into all the URLs we create with TweetDeck, I want to keep it very general. So I'm going to go ahead and generate the URL. Now, what I'm most interested in here is not the capture.com part, is rather the information after the UTM source, UTM medium, UTM campaign. So I'm going to go and copy all that out. Now, before I can add this to my API endpoint, I need to make sure that it is what we call URL encoded. That means that all the, the question marks and ampersands are encoded properly so that um, Bitly won't get confused while it's processing the URL. So I'm actually going to go over here to... Uh, um, URL encoding uh, service that the W3 Schools provides, and they have a place to try it out. So I'm going to put it in there and hit submit. And notice it tells me exactly what my browser sent, and it gives me the URL encoding 
application. So I don't want text equals, but I do want all of this. So I'm going to copy all of that, then we'll go back to my text file. Here are my text file, you see I left a space between um, the end of the URL and the next parameter, which is format. So I'm going to remove that space, and I'm going to paste in what I just copied. So now I have my username, I have my API key, I have my long URL right here. Behind that I have my tracking parameters, and then I have a place um, specifying what format I want my result in. So I'm going to take all of this information and take it to TweetDeck. I don't want that extra space there. I'm going to take all of that TweetDeck. We're going to go into our settings and services. You notice here I have bitly selected for my sh URL shortener. I'm actually going to change that to other. And now it asks me for my endpoint. And I'm going to paste in everything I just created. And I'm going to save my settings. Now, of course, I want to try this out. Of course, we have to have a nice tweet there. And let's say we're going to put capstar.com in here. The space, and it shorts, shortens my URL. And I'm actually going to click it to make sure it shows me my um, shortened URL. So instead of tweeting this to all my friends, I'm actually going to take this URL and copy it. And let's go over to Firefox and look at the result. In Firefox, let's open a new tab, and we're going to paste in our URL here. And so we're at capture.com, and it loads as normal, but you notice we have more than just capture.com up here in the address bar. We have our UTM source, UTM medium, and UTM campaign. Now what that will do is provide that Google Analytics is running on the destinations page, and in this case it is, um, Google will pick up these parameters and will include them in your results. So in your referral information within Google Analytics, there will be a section for other, and it will specify TweetDeck, medium, social. And this will allow you to differentiate your direct traffic from your traffic that's a result of your social web activities. So this is how I've made my life easier in shortening my URLs and tracking them as well. And hopefully this will help you out in tracking your online campaigns.